Hello and welcome. This video is about cultural safety and the vital role you play in achieving better outcomes for Aboriginal people when they come through your door. From an Aboriginal perspective, you are what is known as a helper and have the power to change the current reality in which our people suffer the greatest health disparity to one in which we can achieve our best potential. We want to start you on your helper journey by giving you a glimpse of how Aboriginal culture and our people think about you and relate to you. We have asked our elders, who are our teachers, to do that, to show you that your journey as a modern day helper is not so different from what it has been in the past. We don't really have a word for helper, but we do have the concept of helping. And in the Mohawk language, the word is yaganawasis. And if you break down that word, yago is feminine. And nawasis is the ability to assist, to support, to help, to nurture, and to lead. And so if you, if you sort of looked at the whole, that whole concept, of, of Yago Nawasis, it would also be the, the ability to, to connect time and space and into, into a balance or a harmony of self. Who are the helpers today? They are more specialized. For example, the police who assist the community, the nurses and doctors who help their patients, the CAS, who assist the families, teachers who assist their students. Our Yaganawasas is more generalized. The Yaganawasas is chosen at a very young age and they're trained to gather knowledge and in preparation, which is, takes a very, very long time. In our stages of growth and development, the first two stages are training as a yoga nawasis. And so that takes probably half of our, of our life to become a yoga nawasis. So why is yoga nawasis so important? Why does it take so long to be a yoga nawasis? Well, step one is to strengthen self to heal ourself, to know ourself as a, as, a, as a helper. That's what cultural safety is all about, knowing yourself, knowing your own lens. And secondly, Yoga Nawasas is about strengthening family. So now it becomes the action to assist, to support, to nurture the family structure. And finally, it gets to strengthening communities. In the old way, the grandmas and the Duddas chose and trained family and community, Yaganawasas, to fill their bundles. But today it's different. We're in an urban setting. But the grandmothers still tell us they're waiting. So today, Wabano and other Aboriginal organizations have become our Duddas our grandmothers, or our Yaganawasas. Wabano and other First Nations, Inuit, and Métis organizations are hoping that you will choose to continue your journey as a modern-day helper. In doing so, you will make your agency a more welcoming and productive place for our people, a culturally safe place. As we heard, the journey of a helper starts with knowing yourself and the lens through which you see us. Madeline Dion Stout reflects on some of the difficulties that are encountered. Cultural safety um, today is uh, defined as an encounter between a, a health provider and a patient um, where the health provider um, looks at the patient and the encounter as one where culture has to be factored in um, culture um, 
uh, where safety is a big part of that encounter and the safety being uh, the health care provider would understand this to be a situation where there are unequal power relations that she or he, the health provider, would be in a more powerful position than the patient and would look at the situation through this, from this gaze and then would understand too there are a lot of health inequities in the system and would uh, try and um, uh, work uh, with the patient uh, through that kind of uh, cultural knowledge, if I can say that, and also societal knowledge. But a lot of times I think what happens with healthcare providers is that they see this as a moment in time. Moments die, so I don't have to take, there's no takeaway from this except that my encounter had to be culturally safe for the patient. And I think that often speaks to the lack of personal knowledge, personal insights on the part of the healthcare provider. A key concept we use for the word helper is meaning the health determiners who are sought out to relieve and revive one's human reserves in the struggle towards health and well-being. Another key concept we have for the word uh, helper is ugikana tuskamage etzik. These are the health determiners who shout out the ones who are faltering under the burden of health detriments. This message we have heard for a long time now and that is that health is a necessary resource for us. There is no arguing about that interpretation of health. It's, it's extremely important, and we all know this, if uh, we don't feel well, we don't feel like um, we're, we can perform as well as we normally do. So health is an absolutely, uh, absolutely irrevocably uh, an important and necessary resource for us. But when Indigenous people factor in cultural truths and unbundling cultural truths around cultural safety, then we're looking at health as a gift. In Cree, uh, we have, in ceremony, we have words for giveaway, baktinge magana, those material things and immaterial things we gift one another with. And all the time, it's about health and being healthy, being well, being happy. So that is the, the uh, giveaway. The takeaway is utinge magana, those things we take away from that experience from whether it be a ceremony, whether it be a, a healthy, happy encounter with a health professional, we take away good feelings, we take away the gift of life. Actually, that experience will breathe life into us yet again. So that's the takeaway. Then we pass this on as uh, a sunamagana. We re-gift the gift of health. And we re-gift the gift of health, we give away health, we take away health, and we re-gift health in places like the Wabano Center for Aboriginal Health. Wabano and other Aboriginal organizations are working to ensure that cultural safety becomes a living concept in all organizations. That depends on you, the helpers, and your commitment to the learning process. As our Cree elder said, taking away the gift of life, that is what happens for us when you, as a helper, develop your practice and understanding. Inuit elder Susanna Sinogri also stresses the importance of understanding culture. It is at the heart of what it means to be a helper. <laughs> I 
More and more, First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people understand that they have a right to health and other services. But when our cultures are not taken into account, we cannot succeed. That is what we mean by cultural safety. The concept is about opening doors, really opening doors, to Aboriginal people. It is about enabling the vision and mandate of your organization to resonate by ensuring your expertise encompasses and includes our communities. Working together, we can change the health outcomes for Aboriginal people. <laughs> 